FAI and the ankle. How do these things potentially correlate to each other? Uh, dorsiflexion is a very important motion in the ankle. A lot of ankle problems really trace back to a lacking of dorsiflexion. Our society, we don't squat deep that often. We sit at right angles. Uh, we wear shoes that are elevated. A lot of these things will just lead to some calf stiffness and lacking ankle range of motion. So when I say dorsiflexion, this is the motion I mean. All right, if you can't get into a deep squat with your feet straight and not feeling like you're gonna fall backwards or the feet turning out, then you're probably missing some ankle dorsiflexion. So what will happen if that's the case, when you're missing dorsiflexion, you're gonna compensate somehow. And the biggest compensation is usually the feet will pivot out. And sometimes you'll start off like in a squat, feet straight, and then as you come down, you'll see one foot kind of spin out a little bit. Well, that spin out will actually set up the knee to kind of cave in somewhat. Right, and that's gonna put the femur into internal rotation. Remember, this is internal rotation of the femur. And that's the position that hip impingement and FAI do not like. 